Good day. Today we are going to discuss about the basic operation and function of echo sounder and speed log. So uh, echo sounder, it is a device that is using for determining the depth of the seabed or detecting objects in water. Um, using echo sounder, malalaman natin yung uh, lalim or yung distansya from ship to seabed and detecting kung anong uh, objects ang nasa tubig. Echo sounder transmits a sound pulse into the water and when echo sounder hits something solid such as vegetation, fish or other objects in the water, the signal is reflected back. So as this sound moves through the water at a set speed, the echo sounder can calculate how long it has taken for the sound to reach the object and then back again. This measurement can tell us how, the, how deep the water is and other information about objects in the water. The echo sounder is also measures the strength of the return pulse. The greater the strength, the harder the object. So, echo sounders are used to read the structure of the sea floor and are a big help in loca locating the type of fish or other objects that we are looking for. Now we are going to talk about speed log. It is also known as ship logs, ship logs, or common logs. Uh, we are using the speed log to measure the speed of a vessel. The speed is determined with reference to water flowing by the water's reference speed or the seabed ground reference speed. Speed log uh, is using the Doppler effect, which is uh, observed as a frequency frequency shifting resulting from relative motion between a transmitter and receiver or reflector of acoustic or electromagnetic energy. So, a common uh, example of Doppler effect is a train when a train is approaching. The vessel has a higher pitch than normal. You can hear the change in pitch as the train passes. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.